Hey campers, what's up? It's Yana. Welcome to day 24 of Camp Dandorama July 2020. And this is probably the weirdest lighting that we've had. It's still kind of light outside, but not light enough to film, so I have my only lamp in my room. Yeah, it's weird, I'm sorry. But um, you're kind of catching me in the middle of already working on something because I forgot to film. Um, today I'm obviously, if you can, if you can't tell by the guitar that I'm holding, I'm obviously working on the musical and I'm actually writing the villain song. Everybody loves a good villain song. Obviously Disney has probably the most famous examples uh, I don't know what immediately pops into your head, but for me it's Poor Unfortunate Souls, Be Prepared, Hellfire, there's bunches of them in Disney. Disney just really loves their villain songs. I can't think of that many in uh, my favorite musicals, because the first musical I can think of is Le Mis, and that one doesn't... I mean, okay, I guess it has a villain song, in, I guess the Thenardiers have like a few songs, but it's not the same sort of villain song that you see in, in Disney that is kind of a lot of exposition about the villain and it's usually a really badass number and that's more the kind of song that I'm writing at the moment. So the villain in this story, uh, in case you haven't seen previous videos about the musical, I'm writing a musical based on The Wild Swans by Hans Christian Andersen. So technically the villain in the story is the new queen that the king marries. So the stepmother of the main character and her brothers who enchants her brothers, turns them into swans and chases her out of the kingdom and does a lot of bad stuff. Um, but in my version of the musical, she is a villain, but she is probably, obviously, the type of villain that you're kind of meant to like. She does have a backstory, she has, to some extent, her reasons, she has a bit of a redeeming moment later on, and she's just really sassy and fun. She is the quintessential evil queen, really. Um, she's kind of like Regina from Once Upon a Time, but Regina's not the only character like that. There's, there's quite a few sassy evil witches that are evil, but also kind of so badass that you actually kind of love them. So I'm really trying to nail this song, which is a lot more difficult than nailing Eliza's ballad or even the introduction song just because with a ballad you're you're just trying to make it very beautiful and emotional but with a villain song there's a lot more layers to it especially if you're trying to write a complicated or like a complex villain so, um, yeah, I, I've got like about one verse, so I'm gonna keep writing for now and then I'm gonna compose a little bit and hopefully I might be able to play you a snippet, no guarantees here, but we'll see. So, let's get to work. Lyrics first with me, always lyrics first. I mentioned that in my previous video when I was writing Eliza's song, it's lyrics then it, it's one verse and a chorus, then composing, and then the rest of the lyrics. Usually that's how it goes. I don't know if you've noticed, but like I tend to mouth words a lot when I'm writing poetry. I never do that when I'm writing prose, but just with lyrics and poetry, you're always checking that you're actually staying in rhythm. Um, and I feel that I absolutely have to speak the, like soundlessly say the words. 
otherwise, I don't know, it's just, it's one of those things, it's like when you're putting mascara on and your mouth is always open, it's, it's just, it happens automatically. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see what we can do for the melody. So villain melodies, there's, I mean, there's no rules, but there are kind of general specific chords that you easily associate with the villain. It's usually minor chords. It's kind of the same ones that you would use if you wanted to make a song sad or creepy. So if we start here, that's completely different than if we started here. That's, that's a happy chord. That's C. C major. So I'm probably gonna stay here. I'm not that great at the guitar, so I mean I know a fair number of chords, but there's always the temptation to kind of stay within a few easy ones. So let's see if that's what I'm gonna do. But but then again, I hate being too kind of unoriginal with the music, so we'll see. Okay, well, something interesting is happening here. Um, I think because I was trying to be original and also because uh, she's kind of very um, multifaceted as a character. I ended up doing something with um, the melody that I don't usually do, which is I'm kind of mixing a lot of minor chords with some major chords, but not in like necessarily very logical places. It kind of mirrors her character a little bit because she does have a more redeemable side to her, but also in the middle of the melody, the major chords kind of also sound like a mockery. Like she's going into this much nicer sort of good character melody um, and, and she's just mocking kind of the brothers and the, so so this point happens at the um, at the moment where she is actually doing the spell um, that turns Eliza's brothers into swans and she's kind of speaking to them but they're not really in the room she does this in in her room um, but she is still addressing them um, so if we look at how this is structured right now, I don't know if this is how it's gonna stay, because very much work in progress, but for the moment this is what's happening. So we're starting kind of, kind of chill and kind of, she does a lot of speaking rather than singing, at least for the moment that's, that's what she's doing, that's what she's telling me to do, you know. Well, I warned you if you crossed me you'd be sorry. You may cry, but trust me, Mama knows what's best. See, she's already mocking. And I think, think it's time. Mm, let's try this again. Well, I warned you, if you crossed me, you'd be sorry. You may cry, but trust me, Mama knows what's best. And I think it's time for you to leave this story. That's right, that's right, little birds. It's time to fly the nest. And here she goes into, she goes from the minor chord, so she goes Oh, you think your daddy's really gonna care? And she goes here into this much more kind of bright and po positive note. Oh, you think your daddy's really gonna care? When he hears that you are nowhere to be found that old fool believes that I'll give him an heir. Well, I might, but by then he won't be around. And she goes back to her real voice. And then we've got this, this is, she's prepared the spell already, and then we've got this build up with the spell here, 
that the problem is the way that I wrote it, I can't actually sing it. This is for somebody who has a much bigger range. I can't actually do the high note, so you're gonna have to excuse the high note. All right, let's give this a go. I'll try to go through this whole snippet of the song, but it's gonna be difficult because usually I've got like three or four chords. This has a lot more than that and I, as I mentioned before, I physically can't sing half of these notes, so please excuse the high note. I know it's horrible, it's just not in my range. Let's see. Well, I warned you if you crossed me, you'd be sorry. You may cry, but trust me, Mama knows what's best. And I think it's time for you to leave the story. That's right, little birds, it's time to fly the nest. Oh, you think your dad is really gonna care When he hears that you're nowhere to be found That old fool believes that I'll give him an air Well, I might, but by then he won't be around With my power now I bind you, but I'm kind, you can't complain Could've locked you in a dungeon or I could've had you slain But instead, a transformation that befits the sense of kings I give you wings Your beloved insolent Eliza Who has not discovered yet that she's a witch I'd make, sh I'd make sure no one would ever recognize her But my spells don't work on her, so that's a hitch And that's all I got for now It needs a lot of work, but it is a start And I, I, think, it's, I think it's gonna work I think it's gonna work for um, this particular villainess. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know what your favorite villain songs are or even what your favorite villains are, even if they don't sing. Thanks again and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye!